Hey guys, this is Ajax22, and we're doing a random gun video today. This is a Calico M105. They're a version of the M100 that basically had the upgraded uh, wood furniture set. It turned, uh, you know, what kind of feels a little bit of a flimsy folding stock rifle into kind of a fairly decent feeling, heavyish duty, at least feeling, um, I mean, this, this is good wood. I'm a, I'm a fan of how these things feel, how they point, etc. And um, as you can see, not a lot of difference between one of these and uh, you know the the plastic fantastics that they have. With the little underfolding thing that clips on here. It's held on by a pistol grip screw. Um, yeah, the M105 is. Uh, an unusual kind of gun. It, uh, if you're not familiar, Calico 22s use a 100 round rotary magazine that uh, basically a series of 10 Ruger 1022 magazines stacked. Uh, if you looked at a CAD model of them, it's just a big spiral Ruger mag. Ruger lips, Ruger. I mean, it. That's what they uh, they designed it as. They're pretty cool. Um, this one, I think, might actually be um, I'm not sure if it originally started out with this wood on it. I'd have to remove the, uh, the scope mount. Um, the scope mount on this is pretty awesome. If you guys are familiar with Terminator 2, then uh, you'll you might recognize these as they featured on the Mini 14s that the Resistance fighters used in the future. Um, they had a a slide viewer glued onto the back of them, but the uh, LS 45 laser sight is uh, is cool. It's kind of a cool item. It's a it's a pain to like. I think this is set up right now left-handed. But as you can see by the little dot that ran, will randomly show up once in a while, it does work. Um, it's huge, it's excessive, it uh, uses a pressure grippy thing. It's supposed to go off the finger pressure, I think, but it's set up for palm pressure on a right-handed shooter right now. You just hit that button and it goes off. Sorry about that, my phone's glitching out on me a little bit. But uh, I think it's set up a little bit backwards. This is a uh, pretty basic system, um, and I really wish that, that more guns would use this mag system because it's awfully spiffy. Um, yeah, they did a good job on the wood. Not a lot to, to show, really. I mean, you, you activate it you uh, or charge it by pulling this lever, which slides back, and as you can see, there's, you know, what, what amounts to uh, kind of a Ruger 10.22 almost bolt flipped upside down. Um, not exactly a Ruger bolt, but you can see the the act the the lever sticking under the bottom that goes out the side. It's ambidextrous controls, so you can, you know. Say fire it. Um, yeah. Other than just being really cool, they're not uh, not a whole lot to show and tell. It uh, the 950 pistol would uh, if this was one of those, it would be in the Guns of the Punisher Armory. But uh, this one is just a random. Isn't this cool? It needs to needs to be shown um, yeah it's got a weird flash hider on them all uh, pretty much everything on this on this gun's just a little different um, yeah oh this when it uh, hasn't been properly cinched down so it still slides around Hold zero fairly reasonably. Um, 
But yeah, it's just the control pad plugs in here, goes around the grip. This is a, a originally a universal setup. One of the early ones. I think this is actually a helium neon laser tube with a, a battery pack. But yeah, that's uh, the Calico M105 with a laser aim LS45 sight, which yeah, it's uh, it's excessive. It's got that whole like late 80s, early 90s cutting edgeness to it. Hard to find that uh, that era of electronics kicking around these days. Sort of like laser product stuff for a laser aim or, you know, the early Surefire stuff, which is the same as laser products. Anyway, that's, uh, that's what I got. Random gun video for you. Alright, have a good one.